Today I'm here with Kimicho and she's going to help us with our first ever Geisha Ozashiki experience. Hi, so my name is Kimicho and that is the Japanese um, arts name, we say Geime in Japanese, that I received from the mother of the Geisha house here in Omori Kaigan. Um, you receive an artist name when you start kind of training in a certain type of art. So since I'm taking dance classes and music classes, I was able to receive that name. So that's what I go by. If we want to hire a geisha, what's the first step? So when you uh, book a geisha, you kind of have to decide a couple of things. First of all, you have to decide the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So to have a really good geisha party, you need a private Japanese uh, koushitsu style um, room. The geisha needs to have a place to dance and uh, play music as well. And then the second thing you'll need to consider is how many geisha you would like to call. Okay. <laughs> so you can call just one geisha, but if you really want to get the full experience, it's better to at least call two. Okay. Because then you can have one geisha who plays an instrument while the other dances. Oh, Otherwise, if you just have right. one geisha, they're probably going to dance with a cassette tape or a CD, uh -huh. which is totally still an amazing experience, um, right. and I recommend it. But if you want to hear the music live, then yeah, yeah, I recommend that you try and call two if possible. Okay. If you speak Japanese or if you know someone who speaks Japanese, um, that's going to be the easiest thing to do because a lot of geisha houses in Kyoto especially, but some in Tokyo as well, have a special rule that's called no first-time customers. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so this. that rule basically means that you cannot call a geisha house or a restaurant as a first-time customer and say, I would like to book a party with geisha. You have to be introduced by someone who is already sort of an insider Right. In the geisha world. Right. But if you know someone who speaks Japanese, um, they might have an easier time of finding a restaurant or finding a geisha house without that rule and mm -hmm. setting everything up in Japanese. So if you don't speak Japanese, um, your best option is probably going to be to find some sort of travel booking company mm -hmm. that offer um, geisha experience where they will handle booking the geisha and the restaurant and everything for you. The geisha house that you're affiliated with, they work well with foreigners? Yes, we are called Yoshinoya, that's the name of our geisha house, and we have an English uh, language reservation form on our webpage. Okay. We will help you get everything coordinated, the restaurant, um, the time, and we'll set up the geisha for you as well. Okay, great. So we'll put the link of Yoshinoya in the description box, so if you would like to hire a geisha, they'll be able to help you with the whole experience. All right, well, let's get started with the process. Yeah, let's do it. First, the geisha will enter the room and give a formal greeting to the customers and introduce themselves. Next, guests will start the banquet with a formal toast. So everyone's glasses will be filled and everyone will say kanpai, which means nice. cheers in Japanese. After the kanpai, the geisha will move around and sit next to customers and make conversation with them. At this time, if you'd like to give the geisha a tip, which is recommended, you can put it in a pretty envelope or something like that and just give it to her and say something like dozo. あの、よくそうですね、中国の方ですとか、あとインドの方のお座敷にもお邪魔したことがございます。そうなんですか。でも日本語で対応されるんですか。そうですね。あの、日本語で、はい、あの、対応させていただいて、あの、中には通訳さ
芸者を呼ぶことができますかはいできますあのーまあ、ご年配の方とかあの若い方とかそういったあのー、隔たりといいますかそういった区切りはございませんし今はあのホームページからでもあの芸者を呼ぶことができますので、うんはい、若い方にもおなじみのある世界になってきてるのかなとは、はい、常々思っておりますので、うんうん、だいぶ敷居が低くなってきてる感じがあるんですね,ですね、はい、ホームページで予約して呼べるんですね<笑>そうですね、はい、変な気分ね、なんか面白い不思議な感じだ。<笑>そう、そうですね。<笑>結構気軽になってきてます。最近は。About halfway through the party, there will be a performance of traditional Japanese dance and music. Usually, in the second half of the party, there will be some traditional Ozashiki party games that the geisha will play with the customers. どうぞ、緊張さん。In the last part of the Ola Shiki, the geisha will once more sit next to customers and make conversation with them. 
and try to just create a fun atmosphere. Before she leaves, she will once again give a formal greeting and thank the customers for their patronage. Thank you so much for inviting us here and yeah, helping us you. have our first geisha experience. Yeah, thank you so much. I've always kind of viewed geisha as um, like really high class and so it seems like it's something that's very expensive. How much generally does it cost to hire a geisha? As far as the restaurant goes, that kind of depends on your own budget. There's all mm -hmm. sorts of different prices of restaurants. The geisha fee will also vary depending on the geisha house, mm -hmm. but um, if we take our uh, the geisha house I'm training at, for example, um, if you want to call a geisha in traditional Nihongami, Japanese wig, and white mm -hmm. makeup, shironuri, that's going to cost around ichimayan or $100 US per hour. Okay. And usually it starts from two hours minimum. But we also, um, sometimes geisha appear at parties in sort of, kind of like how I look right now, and we call this yohatsu, which means western style hairdressing, and a little mm -hmm. bit more casual of makeup. And that usually is a little bit less expensive, somewhere okay. around 7,000 or 8,000 yen, so around 70 or 80 US dollars per hour. Okay. Do you recommend that people go in a group with hiring a geisha? Yeah, yeah. Of course, a private party with two people or even three people in one geisha is a really amazing experience, mm -hmm. and if that's what you're interested in, I totally recommend it. But um, a really kind of fun way to experience the atmosphere of Japanese enkai or banquet is to go with a larger group, maybe six to ten people or something like that, and to uh -huh. call two or three geisha so that you can really um, experience the sort of lively atmosphere that they try to make uh -huh. at parties. Um, and then that way, if you have a larger group, you can kind of split the cost of right. the geisha's fee a little bit, and it makes it a little bit cheaper and more accessible to everyone. Right. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So this is like something that anyone can do. Yeah, actually. definitely. Yeah, I, I firmly believe <laughs> that anyone who's interested in experiencing um, Japanese hospitality in the most traditional way, um, it's accessible to anyone. I firmly believe that. Thank you again. Yeah, for being I'm here. so glad um, I could help you. I had a great time today. So yeah. We did too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.